Hello there, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Sagittarius, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, we're starting here with the Four of Swords. This is you taking time out from your everyday life and focusing in on yourself. Your well-being is going to be very important here, okay? So Spirit Cards are really wanting you to focus in on taking care of your health, taking care of your temple, taking breaks throughout the day to be in your present moment, all right? So this is very strong, and I feel this card has been coming up for a lot of the Zodiac signs. Three of Wands, focusing in on your future, contemplating, really looking at the options and going towards them. I do feel for some of you, you had a few things in your mind. There are things that you want to do, but I feel now is the time to get serious. Uh, I'm also getting travel and romance coming in here as well with this card. So get ready for this beautiful energy. All right. And Three of Pentacles. Uh, collaborations, friendships, getting together, teamwork makes the dream work. This is all coming through with this card. I'm feeling like there's, there is going to be a lot of success around you. And this is going to be through working with other people, people around you, working with your family, working with your connections. Okay. So lots of good things coming towards you here, Sagittarius. It's going to all start with you here. Okay. So for some of you, I feel that it's time to go visit a doctor just in case, especially if you haven't been feeling well. I feel this is going to be very important because there's a lot of things about to happen in your life here, Sagittarius. A lot of changes, a lot of new beginnings coming in for some of you. And with this energy, you have to be in a really good shape here. You have to be kind of healthy and able to kind of give that energy towards all the things that you want to see growth in because there is a lot of growth coming in, a lot of success coming towards you. But it's going to take your time and it's going to take your energy. And this is why spirit guides want you to take a break from your everyday life. Some of you haven't had a vacation in a long time. Some of you work, 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 and you don't really have time for yourself. This is all about you focusing in on you time, Sagittarius. I usually do this at least an hour a night before I go to bed. I spend an hour. I look at motivational videos. I do my own thing, right? So that could be anything. Sometimes I watch trash TV. Sometimes I read a book. Whatever this is, it's me time. And I ded dedicate this to myself just to unwind and kind of get myself into a peaceful space. And I feel for some of you, you really need this. So you have to spend some time. It doesn't have to be every day. It could be once or twice a week, three, four times a week, whatever this is, it's time to really focus in on your well-being and your mental health. And what I'm also getting is some of you need to get away, just like get away from your regular life. Go on a vacation, go somewhere serene, go into a forest, go for a hike. This is you spending time on your health and your well-being. And those of you that haven't been feeling good right now, I feel there's like a vitamin deficiency or this could be like thyroid issues, especially if you're feeling low energy at this time. I also feel that... Um, I don't know why I'm getting prayer, like meditation. Spirit gods are really wanting you to create a sacred space in your home here, Sagittarius, and really kind of add in meditation in your everyday life here, whether it's in the morning or in the evening. Uh, even prayer, because this is going to help you in a way. This is kind of brings you into a place of self-regulation, into a place of calm and peace. This is where you quiet your mind. And I feel for some of you, you're mentally exhausted here as well. So I'm getting that very strong, that mental exhaustion. It's just from overthinking, a lot of things going on. There's stress, there's worry, there's anxiety around stuff in your life. And this is where spirit guides want you to stop thinking about that and stop putting those thoughts in your mind. And what I'm going to share with you today is this thing that I do, especially with negative thoughts, is I write them down. Anytime you have a negative thought, especially if it affects you, um, I want you to write it down on a sheet of paper. And when you write this down on a sheet of paper and you've completed writing it down, I want you to take that sheet of paper, scrunch it up, and I want you to toss that paper in the garbage. And once it's in the garbage, you tell that paper, you are not welcome here. 
you're going to get tossed in the garbage. You're going to go to the dump, right? And I want you to practice this with all the thoughts that you have, and you can practice this as many times a day as you want. For me, when I first tried this, that thought that I had was completely gone. It was the most weirdest thing. It's like my brain didn't even want to think about it. And for others, I've, I've, sh I've kind of shared this with a few friends and they've tried it. For some of them, you have to do this a couple of times with that one thought. So write that thought down, scrunch it up because you want to get it outside of your brain, outside of your mind. Write it down so it's outside of you, scrunch it up, throw it in the garbage and then tell it it's not welcome, especially in your mind and go about your day. Don't even think about it. This kind of helps and practicing this daily and then um, replacing that thought with a positive affirmation. So what I want you to do after that is to look at positive affirmations, whatever ones resonate with you the most here, Sagittarius. Practice this daily because this is going to help you shift your mindset as well and calm your mind and bring your mind to a place where you're not overthinking, where there's no negative thoughts swirling around in your mind, okay? This is going to be very important for you because there's a lot of changes coming in good changes and I want you to kind of be in a place of a positive note in a growth mindset because with that mindset shift with you being in that good place you're going to see a lot of good coming in and I feel for some of you especially if you're someone that naturally kind of is a pessimistic um, you have to change this pessimism and really release yourself from that uh, negative place here so this is going to help you quite a bit there's other ways of doing this and it, it, especially if you're somebody that has hasn't moved forward with your life if you haven't seen any kind of changes you have to take a look at the way that you're thinking and really look at it honestly and, and see where that needs to shift in your life because anything that you think is going to become your reality and with manifestation and the law of attraction even if you're thinking negative you're manifesting that into your world so I want you to start thinking positive here okay even when we go through negative experiences we're meant to feel that experience so I you know it's actually happening in your life if it is a bad experience right go through the emotions and then release those emotions don't allow those emotions to attach themselves or don't allow yourself to allow those emotions to define you okay release those energies and keep moving forward you have to keep moving forward you can't stand still and as this change is coming through you are going to move forward I feel for some of you you have been waiting for a long time for something to happen and now it's finally happening it's because you are the one that has the clarity around what you want and you're focusing in on this place and you're taking that first step you are the one that's initiating this first step and because you're doing this, and because you have that clarity, spirit guides and the universe are lining things up for you. And if you look in this image here, this person's grabbing one of these wands. So perhaps you have a few things that you want to do here. Spirit guides want you to take thing, one, things one at a time here. And for others, you can do as much as you want because you're really good at multitasking. But for those of you that have a really hard time making decisions or gaining clarity, they want you to focus just in on this one thing and move forward with it. You can't stand still. You have to keep moving. Okay? The world keeps moving. Even when we're standing still, everything keeps moving. So we need to keep moving forward. The minute we stop, that's when our life stops. So you have to keep moving forward. Flow with the energy that's coming through for you as well because there is a breeze of change coming in and I feel that some of you are feeling this change coming in. Some of you are creating this for yourself and others is coming in without you even knowing, but you can feel something different kind of in the air around you. Now, I'm seeing that some of you are going to not only focus in on your goals and have that clarity, but you're actually going to take those action steps. Some of you are going to take action by traveling, right? Maybe you wanted to travel for a long time, whether this is for pleasure or for business or to relocate. And as you're doing this, I feel that... Um, the future is in your mind here, Sagittarius. You're kind of making plans for that future, and that's why you're taking those action steps. That's why you're getting into motion. And because of that, now you're creating that reality, that version of life that you want to be in. You are the one that's creating this by taking those action steps and really uh, focusing in on that clear vision that you are having. So 
Perhaps this is you traveling. This could be you relocating to be with a loved one. I feel some of you are in a long distance relationship and you're trying to make it work, but the two of you have to be together. So you're making plans around either one of you moving into that, that person's uh, world, right? So there's going to be a lot of adjustments around this as well. So I feel a lot of you are in the process of planning and strategizing things in your life and travel is a part of that. This could be some of you moving out of a home into a new one. This could be re relocating to a city because of work. This could be you leaving town because of a situation that has happened. So lots of different things kind of coming through here for you. Now, what else am I saying? The four, like, so I'm looking at this four of swords. So what I'm getting is there's like this bold energy coming through here for some of you, like this feeling of self-confidence, courageous, like this, I'm, I'm feeling like a line is about to burst out of some of you, like this fierce energy. And there's like a light that has been ignited within you here, Sagittarius. So I feel you are like this, the will, some of you have the will to succeed and you really push hard. And this is what the power is, right? This is the power within you, Sagittarius, to really create the dream life that you have been visualizing in your mind. And I do feel that there's something that has been lit and within you. And as your this lighting has happened, you're feeling that passionate energy coming through you. So spirit gods are really wanting you to use this energy because it's there. And remember, we have this energy at all times. We just have to tap into it. And when we tap into this, it's like a belief, like your belief, it's like a belief, belief system within yourself. So there's almost like this recent belief in yourself happening here. So the more that you believe in yourself, Sagittarius, the more that you can make anything happen. And there's this energy about you that is shifting as well. So people can feel this. So some of you that are shifting your energy or coming into this positive place in your life, people around you, like when you walk into a room, they're able to feel your energy. And this is a very powerful thing. And this is something new for some of you. Some of you already harness this power and you notice that people take notice of you. And because of that belief system in yourself, this is where your world is going to change in a big way. You're the one that's moving and shaking up your world here. This is such a powerful thing and you're going to see a lot of good changes happen. I'm seeing some of you reaching new heights in your life reaching new milestones, hitting and crushing your goals. This is such a beautiful place to be here, Sagittarius. Own this power because you have it, all right? And collaborations, teamwork, shared goals. This is you coming together with possibly your soul tribe even, right? There's going to be a lot of success around this. So for some of you, I feel you're working around people or you're working with people for a common goal to create something in the world. Okay, this is something big for some of you Sagittarius. For others, I feel you're building something. There's like a project that you're working on and spirit guides are letting you know your dream teamwork makes the dream work. So a lean on support from those around you at this time, especially if you're working on a group project or if you're kind of um, working with family members or friends or even a spouse. I'm getting a, a power couple energy here as well. A family unit coming together to build a family business or maybe you have one already maybe there was a turbulent energy around you and I really feel like it has to do with uh, health and well-being here for some of you maybe someone in your family has fallen sick which is affecting something in your life a project a business something in your life in your area that is kind of putting you in a place of um, stagnation almost this is kind of what I'm getting here don't let this stop you here. I, I'm getting an unstoppable energy coming through. Even though this has happened, I feel that you can take care of this. Uh, I feel this person, whoever it is that has fallen ill, is going to get better. Uh, but they have to want to get better. I feel that there's almost like this um, energy around them where they're not wanting, they don't have the will to kind of build the strength to make themselves better. I don't know what this is about. So some of you are going to have to share with this with me who this person is around you. Um, yeah, so this unstoppable energy that's there for you, Sagittarius, it is so powerful. It's kind of like some of you have already gone through this energy and you still have it where, you know, throughout your life, you've been knocked down a few times, but nothing is going to keep you down. You just keep getting back up. And because you keep getting back up, you're building even more strength. And as you're building this strength, there's something powerful happening in the background for you. And I feel some of your 
getting like teams together. You're kind of getting people together to build that ultimate um, success story around yourself. This is so interesting because there's going, like some of you are going to level up in a big, big way here. And I feel also teaming up with your spirit guides is an actual thing where you're asking your spirit guides for help to help guide you. And they're coming in there, lining everything up. And this is where you're going to see success as well. And this is what I've been doing and practicing in my life is I've been actually asking spirit guides for help to give me signs. And when I do this, I'll see flickering lights. I'll see butterflies. I'll see nature start talking to me, communicating with me with messages. This is kind of what I follow and I live by these rules. These are my rules for myself where I'm aligned to my path. I feel I truly am because I connect with everything. And as I'm doing that, I'm flowing with the energy and I'm seeing how things are lining up. So some of you are already experiencing this. And I get here that some of you are going to meet your soul tribe, that there is a person entering some of your lives here as well. Um, spirit guides are wanting you to network here as well, Sagittarius, to get to outside of your comfort zone, start mixing and mingling with people because there's going to be a lot of good that is going to come out of this. Okay, so uh, courses, workshops, retreat. Some of you are going away for something like a retreat. Maybe this is a meditation, yoga retreat. There's going to be a lot of positive that comes out of this trip here for some of you, right? The travel card is present. Some of you are single out there that are going to go to a retreat, a workshop, something where you're going to meet somebody. And I'm getting love coming in for some of you as well. Some of you are, um, going to have a long distance love coming through this connection through a group setting in some way okay or it's already happened for you and you're kind of making plans to get together or to create a life for yourself a lot of creations happening a lot of good things coming towards you here sagittarius so i want you to open your arms up wide invite invite this energy in and tap into your inner power the power of you and see how you can become unstoppable this energy that belief system within yourself for yourself that is your superpower and we're all born with it. We lose it over time because of our circumstances, because of people, but we are very strong human beings. So I want you to tap into that power of yourself and don't let anything ever stop you from your goals, from your dreams. Okay, be bold and brave and take action here and keep moving forward. Never stop, never stand still. Just keep on moving and watch how your life changes. All right, so now I'm going to pull a bonus card for you. This is an animal spirit oracle. Some of you have been seeing the signs from the universe. This could be in the form of an animal, an insect, something that comes along your path and you recognize it. Pull up your Google and search the spiritual meaning for it because it's going to have a message coming through. So we are getting hawk messenger. So if you've seen a hawk recently, this is your confirmation. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. It's a message coming through. This is the messenger card. Okay, so let me read this to you. Spirit is sending you messages. Open your greater vision to see the signs. Sagittarius, focus on priorities and eliminate distractions. You have a bright future. Let yourself ascend to new heights. Oh my gosh, I feel like this is lining up so well with this. So if you've been seeing like butterflies or animals, synchronicities and numbers, patterns, symbols, music resonating with you, whatever this is, it's because messages are coming through for you. And some of you are highly intuitive and you're seeing these messages. And for others, it's all about clearing your mind, stopping in your present moment and looking around at the beauty of nature around you and recognizing some of the things that you are seeing and getting the messages through that. Okay, so this is coming through for you very strong here. All right, I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. Number 777, I am in the flow. Sagittarius, look at you go here, my friends. 777, if you've been seeing these numbers, this is your confirmation. Let me read it to you. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is a part of your purpose, Sagittarius, a state of peace and calmness in your soul. Oh my goodness, I'm getting goosebumps. I'm, I'm being honest here, the goosebumps are real. Okay, so 
I feel that some of you are tapping into that true power of yourself. And because of this, you're going to see some big, big changes happening in your life. So own that power of you, Sagittarius. You are highly powerful. You have the ability to create anything that you want in your life. And it starts with you, your belief system. Believe in yourself and the power of you and watch how your reality changes. All right, so this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.